Hey everybody, Steven here, and today looking at an LED desk lamp from Arteezy. I don't know if I'd say it that way, or it's literally just Art Easy as one word. So I would assume you would say it Art Easy, but it's Art Easy, right? But with this, why did I agree to look at this particular product? Because this is the desk setup that I actually use to shoot B-roll for a lot of these different reviews. And with this, I use an autonomous LED desk lamp, and it's been great. But now that I have this new configuration where I'm trying to get it set up so I can do more overhead shots with this, it's in the way. So if my camera's here, this hits this, the camera hangs down, it's become an issue. And so with this, it's a lot more slim and the adjustments, it has more with it. It also gets brighter. So let me just cover the specs really quick and then I'm gonna get this thing set up and actually showcase all the different adjustments as well with this. But let's talk about the things that matter with this. So it's 18 watts of max power consumption. Color temperature is gonna go from 3000K to 5500K. 1600 lumens. As a comparison, this is 1200 lumens max. And I usually don't have it turned all the way up. So that would be 1200 right there. I usually have this turned all the way down when I'm shooting, just because the camera, if it's too bright, it's just gonna wash out the colors with it. But this actually gets brighter. And as you can see, the box is smaller. Right, this is a lot smaller. So that means it's also a lot lighter. With this, it is an aluminum alloy and ABS and silicone material for what they've actually built this out of. Lifetime in terms of the amount of time that you could actually get the use out of this, 25,000 to 50,000 hours. A lot of times the LEDs, you'll see like 25,000 is kind of where they cap it. This one goes from 25,000 to 50,000. So really awesome to see with that. And then that's pretty much it in terms of the different specs outside of like AC, 100 volts, all that. People don't want to really know that, right? So here, um, the CRI is greater than 95 with this in terms of the color temperature accuracy, I believe is what that covers here. Um, high brightness, energy saving, eye care, no glare, memory function, timer function, um, diamond serve, and then three year warranty. The other thing, the price, $50. And right now they have a 30% off coupon. I don't know by the time I release this video if that'll still be the case, but $50, even at the baseline price. To give you a comparison, this right here, $120 right now. Black Friday deal, you can get it for like 70. It used to be $90 when I first bought it. So even at the previous price, even with Black Friday, it's still more expensive than this. So maybe that's a aesthetic design thing that you want to go with something that looks like this, but this just seems like a great deal. Enough talking, let's get this thing unboxed. All right. Warranty. Clamp for the actual desk here. We have a hex key. I'm assuming if we need to make any adjustments to this, that will be done with that. And then, let's look at this. So obviously it folds out. Very slim. Whoa, so, let's see, lights on the top here. I wonder if that's what you can switch. Because we have our deals right here. Maybe you can actually, oh, okay. This rotates. I saw the adjustments on the Amazon listing. I was like, that is a lot of adjustments. I wasn't quite sure. That is very cool. That's gonna come in handy over here. A lot more function with this. So if I'm looking at the base, I think the base rotates 360 degrees, 240 degrees here. Yeah, there's a lot going on with this that I'm going to need to toy around with, but that is pretty wild with the adjustments here. It looks like it's just gonna rotate at this joint right here though. Um, on the inside here, this is where we're going to get power, change the brightness, and then settings here. I'm assuming that's memory function, and then changing the color temperature. And then, let's see what else we have. And then this is going to be the plug, and that should be it. So this is the plug right here. Ooh, we got a sticker peel. Maybe if I can actually get to this thing. There we go. Let's see if I can get a good shot on that. Maybe not. We got one sticker peel. There we go. 
a decent size for this, right? Uh, I'm assuming that's just because of the wattage here. And then this is going to be USB type C with that. And it looks like it has plenty of cable length. Let's see if there's anything else in this that I would need to know. I will actually talk about this with actually showcasing the adjustments because that's really what it's talking about right there. And then it covers the specs that we just talked about with this. Um, the four lighting modes, tells you how to work that, the brightness levels, and then on off. So I was correct about that. So I need to get this thing set up. We will remove this. We will put this thing here, and then I'm gonna showcase the different functions that it has and the different things that you can do with the adjustments, not only to the physical product itself, but then the different lighting ones as well. So let's go ahead and cut over to that now. Setup here was quick and easy, took a minute maybe. And so the thickness of the desk that this can attach to is about 2.17 inches that you can see on the diagram here. The base rotates 360 degrees. Just keep in mind the cord kind of gets tangled when you do that. And then this will actually fold forward and back 240 degrees at the next adjustment right above the base. The one above that will do another 240 degrees. The one after that will do 240, but that is the one that will rotate as well, 270 degrees total. It rotates more one direction than the other. So depending on where you need that to essentially rotate up, if you're going to use that, you may need to have this on the left or right side of your desk. So the amount of adjustments here is a huge plus in my opinion. This has three separate color options with it. So you have black, silver, and white. With this, the cable length of the power cord here is roughly six feet. And now you're watching me actually adjust the lighting here. So with this, you have the power button. And I've noticed, so it may take a second for it to register sometimes, but it's kind of like a touch sensor. So it's not like a physical button where you feel a click or anything like that. But with this, you can turn on the power and then you can adjust the brightness here. And with that, you can do it in steps where you simply just push the button and then it'll register. And it has about three or four steps with that. Or you can actually hold the button down. And as you do that, it's kind of like a dimmer. So it'll just slowly start to draw the light down or it'll brighten it back up. And then above that, you have the setting tab. And with that, you can adjust the color temperature with this. In the manual, it says that these are lighting modes. And with this, you have working, learning, relaxing, and nightlight. With that, you're just pressing that for a short click and it's adjusting it. If you're long pressing it, it's steplessly adjusting the color temperature. With the on off button, if you just click it, it's gonna turn it on and off obviously. But if you long press, it's going to activate a 15 minute or 45 minute lamp off function with this for the 15 minutes. It's going to essentially just have that light that's on it, which is a little blue light. It's going to flash once. If it flashes twice, that's going to be the 45 minutes with the base. Also, there's a screw that you use to tighten this, which is why you have the hex key. So you can actually fasten that even tighter. And so it reminds me of the different lighting mounts that you have if you're doing any type of photography. So you have a light box. It works in the same manner. So it's kind of screwing against a metal cylinder with this and then just fastening tight against that to hold it in place. But because of that, I've noticed it's prone to if I'm swiveling, it's prone to making a little bit of a noise with it. So that's going to be it for this one. I'm extremely happy with this for myself personally, just because it gives me so many different lighting options now when it comes to the various shots that I want to get with different products that I review here on the channel. So I like this. If I could change anything for the one that I have, I just wish I would have gotten the black version. I think it would fit the aesthetics of what I have going on a little bit better than the silver version. But again, you have the three different options with this, which is nice to see. Now I'm going to have a link for this in the description if you want to pick it up. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comment section so I can answer that for you there. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all my content, hit the subscribe button for me. And as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.